So after the most successful season in nearly 20 years for Ohio women's basketball, these women are ready to gear up for the 2015-16 season, and they're pretty anxious to do so. Hi there, I'm Jake Ramada for Bobcat TV, and I'm joined by the reigning MAC Coach of the Year, Bob Bolden. And Coach, you got to be pretty excited yourself to, to finally get on the court and, and do your thing. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's been a lot of talk about this season, and the, 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 uh, the preseason's finally over, and getting on the floor and practicing, it's very exciting to be out on the floor with the team. You know, reigning Mid-American Conference regular season and tournament champs as well. You guys went to the NCAA tournament. How important was last year for you guys as a program going into the future and, you know, even the attitude of the locker room as well? I mean, it's exciting. It's a, it, you know, going to the tournament can be a once in a well, career opportunity for some kids. So it was nice that we got to do that. I think it was especially nice for Mariah and Kat. They got to have that opportunity before graduation. Um, and it presents a challenge for those other kids to try to do it and, and replicate that kind of success, even though there might be a little bit different formula, but you're still after the same success. You did mention Mariah and Kat, those are your two seniors that you lost, and you have a lot of returners too as well, so how does that benefit you guys going into this year with all those returners and that, that chemistry still kind of intact? Right, it was nice to have a starting point. Um, you know, it's, not, it's some familiarity with terminology and concepts and things that we're trying to do strategically. Um, you know, I think it able to, enabled us to move a little bit quicker through the first couple practices, um, but when it comes time to play games, you know, you really, you don't really pick up where you left off last year, unfortunately. You kind of got to start over to some extent. You had some new faces and, and that changes the chemistry and the makeup of the team and, and you kind of move forward as a new group and a new team. Yeah, you mentioned those newcomers. You have one transfer from a Big Ten school and five new freshmen as well. So who are some of these girls and what have they done to impress you so far? Well, they work really hard. You know, I, I think the, the freshman class and, and Taylor, the, our, our loan transfer, have come in with the mindset that they've got to earn what they get. And, I think they've they've really brought a great work ethic. Um, you know, they're they're doing really well shooting the ball right now. Um, you know, and, and obviously they're having the typical freshman struggles. It's you know, it's a lot of information thrown at them quickly. And as you mentioned, there's a lot of returners that that have heard this this information for one or two years. So it's you know they're a little bit behind from a from that standpoint. But I think they're doing a tremendous job um, in the work ethic that they bring to practice every day. We touched on a little bit how you guys had a lot of success last year, so how tough is it going to be for you guys this year to, to get back to that spot and see all that success that you faced last year? I think it'll be the same level of toughness. You know, it's hard to win. You know, it doesn't matter if you were good or bad the year before. Winning games is a difficult thing to do, um, and to do it repeatedly is, is just a, it's a difficult task. And, um, you know, maybe a little bit different mindset coming into this season than last season. It seems a little bit more obtainable. Where last season there were doubts that we could ever win games. Um, but you still have to go through the work to, to put yourself in position to win, win those games. So the, this, this program has always had that, that kind of culture of losing, but a after last year you guys changed that with, with, with everything that you did. So, you know, what's it like to finally have the target on your back and, and to finally, you know, be the ones that are considered to win this time around? I mean, it's, it's new for the program and the community. Yeah, I think it is. Um, you know, practices are just us, so there's really, it's pretty mundane. You know what I mean? There's really no competition it's from an outside standpoint. There's really... There's not a lot of media talking about us. There's not a lot of hoopla surrounding our practices. So, you know, practices have been a lot like last year's practices in that regard. And it's been nice that we've been able to just kind of get in the combo and go to work and kind of be left alone. So that's the latest update for Ohio women's basketball. And you can catch the Bobcats on November 7th at 11.30 a.m. in an exhibition against Wilmington College. For the reigning MAC Coach of the Year, Bob Bolden, I'm Jake Kermada. This is Bobcat TV.